Good morning and happy Easter. Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed for us. Therefore, let us keep the feast. Jesus Christ is risen today. Alleluia. Our triumphant holy day. Alleluia. Who did once upon the cross. Alleluia. Suffer to redeem our lost. Alleluia. Alleluia. Christ is risen. The Lord is risen indeed. Alleluia. May his grace and peace be with you. May he fill our hearts with joy. Almighty God, to you all hearts are open, all desires known, and from you no secrets are hidden. Cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name through Christ our Lord. Amen. Glory to God in the highest and peace to his people on earth. Lord God, heavenly King, almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, receive our prayer for you alone are the holy one you alone are the lord you alone are the most high jesus christ with the holy spirit in the glory of god the father amen lord of life and power through the mighty resurrection of your son you have overcome the old order of sin and death and have made all things new in him. May we, being dead to sin and alive to, it, to you and Jesus Christ, reign with him in glory, who with you and the Holy Spirit is alive, one God, now and forever. Amen. A reading from the book of Jeremiah. Chapter 31, verses 1 to 6. Hope for restoration. In that city, says the Lord, I will be the God of all the families of Israel, and they will be my people. This is what the Lord says. Those who survive the coming destruction will find blessings even in the barren land for I will give rest to the people of Israel. Long ago, the Lord said to Israel, I have loved you, my people, with an everlasting love. With unfailing love, I have drawn you to myself. I will rebuild you, my virgin Israel. You will again be happy and dance merrily with your tambourines. Again, you will plant your vineyards on the mountains of Samaria and eat from your own gardens there. The day will come when watchmen will shout from the hill country of Ephraim. Come, let us go up to Jerusalem to worship the Lord our God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Morning, we're reading Psalm 118, verses 1 and 2, and 14 to 24. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His love endures forever. Let Israel say, his love endures forever. The Lord is my strength and my defense. He has become my salvation. Shouts of joy and victory resound in the tents of the righteous. 
The Lord's right hand has done mighty things. The Lord's right hand is lifted high. The Lord's right hand has done mighty things. I will not die but live, and will proclaim what the Lord has done. The Lord has chastened me severely, but he has not given me over to death. Open for me the gates of the righteous. I will enter and give thanks to the Lord. This is the gate of the Lord through which the righteous may enter. I will give you thanks, for you answered me. You have become my salvation. The stone the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. The Lord has done this, and it is marvelous in our eyes. The Lord has done it this very day. Let us rejoice today and be glad. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Then Peter began to speak. I now realize how true it is that God does not show favoritism, but accepts from every nation the one who fears him and does what is right. You know the message God sent to the people of Israel, announcing the good news of peace through Jesus Christ, who is Lord of all. You know what has happened throughout the province of Judea, beginning in Galilee, after the baptism that John preached, how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and power, and how he went around doing good and healing all those who were under the power of the devil, because God was with him. We are witnesses of everything he did in the country of the Jews and in Jerusalem. They killed him by hanging him on a cross, but God raised him from the dead on the third day and caused him to be seen. He was not seen by all the people, but by witnesses whom God had already chosen, by us who ate and drank with him after he rose from the dead. He commanded us to preach to the people and to testify that he is the one whom God appointed as judge of the living and the dead. All the prophets testify about him that everyone who believes in him receives forgiveness of sins through his name. The word of the Lord. The Lord be with you. And also with you. The Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to John. Glory be to thee, O Lord. Early on the first day of the week, while it was still dark, Mary Magdalene went to the tomb and saw that the stone had been removed from the entrance. So she came running to Simon Peter and the other disciple, the one Jesus loved, and said, They have taken the Lord out of the tomb, and we don't know where they have put him. So Peter and the other disciple started for the tomb. Both were running. But the other disciple outran Peter and reached the tomb first. He bent over and looked in at the strips of linen lying there, but did not go in. Then Simon Peter came along behind him and went straight into the tomb. He saw the strips of linen lying there as well as the cloth that had been wrapped around Jesus' head. The cloth was still lying in the place, separate from the linen. Finally, the other disciple, who had reached the tomb first, also went inside. He saw and believed. They still did not understand from Scripture that Jesus had to rise from the dead. Then the disciples went back to where they were staying. Now Mary stood outside the tomb crying. As she wept, she bent over to look into the tomb and saw two angels in white seated where Jesus' body had been, one at the head and the other at the foot. They asked her, Woman, why are you crying? They've taken my Lord away, she said, and I don't know where they have put him. 
At this time, she turned around and saw Jesus standing there, but she didn't realize that it was Jesus. He asked her, Woman, why are you crying? Who is it that you're looking for? Thinking he was the gardener, she said, Sir, if you've carried him away, tell me where you've put him and I will get him. Jesus said to her, Mary. She turned toward him and cried out in Aramaic, Rabboni, which means teacher. Jesus said, do not hold on to me, for I have not yet ascended to the Father. Go instead to my brothers and tell them, I'm, descending to my, uh, I'm ascending to my Father and your Father, to my God and to your God. Mary Magdalene went to the disciples with the news. I have seen the Lord. And she told them that he had said these things to her. The Gospel of Christ. Praise be to thee, O Christ. In the fall there is a flower, in the seed an apple tree, in the cool a hidden promise, butterflies will soon be free. In the cold and snow of winter, there's a spring that waits to be unrevealed until it deepens, something God alone can see. In our bands is our beginning, in our time infinity, in our doubt there is believing, in our life eternity, in our death a resurrection, at the last of victory, unrevealed until it season. Let us confess the faith of our baptism as we say, I believe in God, the Father Almighty, the creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He has conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and buried. He descended to the dead. On the th third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saint, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. prayers of the people. In joy and hope, let us pray to the source of all life, saying, hear us, Lord of glory, that our risen Savior may fill us with the joy of his holy and life-giving resurrection. Let us pray to the Lord. Hear us, Lord of glory. That isolated and persecuted churches may find fresh strength in the Easter gospel. Let us pray to the Lord. Hear us, Lord of glory. That he may grant us humility to be subject to one another in Christian love. Let us pray to the Lord. Hear us, Lord of glory. That he may provide for those who lack food or shelter. Let us pray to the Lord. Hear us, Lord of glory. That he may reveal that by his power, wars, famine, pestilence, and this corona, 
coronavirus pandemic may cease through all the earth, let us pray to the Lord. Hear us, Lord of glory. That he may reveal the light of his presence to the sick, the weak, and the dying, that they may be comforted and strengthened, let us pray to the Lord. Hear us, Lord of glory. That he may send the fire of the Holy Spirit upon his people, that we may bear faithful witness to his resurrection, let us pray to the Lord. Hear us, Lord of glory. Dear friends in Christ, God is steadfast in love and infinite in mercy. He welcomes sinners and invites them to his table. Let us confess our sins, confident in God's forgiveness. Let us take a moment to let the Holy Spirit stir our hearts to remind us of those things that were not pleasing to God. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed by what we have done and what we have not left undone. We have not loved you with our whole hearts. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We have not really sorry and humbly repent for the sake of your son, Jesus Christ. Have mercy on us and forgive us that we may delight in your way and walk in your ways. In the glory of your name, amen. Almighty God, have mercy upon you. Pardon and deliver you from all your sins. Confirm and strengthen you in all goodness and keep you in eternal life. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. May the peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you now and forever. Amen. Mark, sorry, I'm interrupting for a second. You're not unmuted. Very good. You need to start over. Our Father, which art in the heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory O Lamb of God, that takest away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. O Lamb of God, that takest away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. O Lamb of God, that takest away the sin of the world, 
grant us thy peace. Glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to God from generation to generation in the church and in Christ Jesus forever and ever. Amen. May the glory, the peace, the love of God be upon you and the blessing of God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit be upon you and all those you love here and in the hereafter forever and ever. Amen. See Jesus meet us, risen from the tomb. Lovingly he greets us, scatters near and blue. Let the church with gladness hymns of triumph sing. For the Lord now liveth, death has lost its sting. Mine is the glory, risen conquering sun. Endless is the fear.